Hello, my name is Jim Ward, and I am a certified SOLIDWORKS PDM Technical Support Specialist with Go Engineer. In this video, I will be discussing how to validate PDM. You may want to do this after a new PDM install, or an upgrade has been done, or a new local view has been created. I will first show you the verification steps. Then I will discuss what each step is testing. If you only need the steps, you don't need to stick around for the explanation. So, let's go verify PDM. The first step is just to log into PDM. The way to do that is to start File Explorer. In my case, the window immediately pops up, but I'm not going to log in here. I'm just going to close this window because I want to show you something else in case your window doesn't just pop up. So, if your login screen doesn't just come up automatically, you can come to your vault. Right click your vault and choose login. In my case, I don't need a password. This is just a test vault. And then again, even though I logged in, it didn't, doesn't automatically go over to my vault. So I need to click on it again. And now it does come up. The next step is pretty quick. We just look to see if the folders are green. And if they're not green, let me show you what that looks like. If they're blue like this, that means that you're currently in offline mode and you're not actually connecting to the PDM database. So you need to come over and choose work online to see if it's able to connect you to the database. If it is, then when you come over to your vault, you will see that your folders are green. The next step is just to add a file to the vault. So let's do that. Now it can be a SOLIDWORKS file, it can be really any file, we just want to make sure that it's possible. So it's easiest for me to just add a little text document. I'll give it a unique file name. Now it's looking good because it is checked out to me. If it's not able to add it to the vault, it won't check it out. But the final test is just to right click it and choose check in. Works great, it goes into the vaulted state and um, the version is one and it's equal to what is in the vault. So we were able to add a file to the vault and check it in. The next step is to get the latest version of a file. So let's go find some files. Now you do want to make sure that you don't already have the latest version of the file, because if you already have it, of course, you won't be doing anything. In this case, we can look, I have a version column in my file view, and so I can see that I don't have a version here. That's what that red is there, and then that's with that minus sign. You can also come down here and look at the version tab, and you can see there is no local file. I can right click it and choose Get Latest Version. And I'll go ahead and get the latest version of all the reference components as well. And then you see here in the file view columns, it, and I do have the latest, 7 out of 7. The same is true down here. And that's really all that you need to do for most people. If you're an admin, you may want to take this one step further and run a task. Let's do a get latest version on this drawing. Now, one of the simplest uh, tasks that most people have is to create a PDF. And so you can right click this. If you have PDM uh, Professional, you can put this on the right mouse menu and just choose Create PDF. If you don't have PDM Professional, then you'll need to run this through the workflow and one of your steps through the workflow would be to generate a PDF. And of course, you can do this with any test drawing. And uh, that's it for the steps to verify. If you want to find out what you were testing, you're welcome to, to stick around and we will go through it. What does each step test? Well, when we logged into PDM, we verified the archive server is working. We verified the connection between the client and the archive server is working. We verified the archive server can authenticate the client. And if you're using AD, the archive server can communicate with the AD server. How about the fact that the folders are green? Well, that verifies that the client does have connection to the database and it verifies that the client does have permission to see the folders. When we added to the file vault, what did that test? 
Well, that tested that the archive server service can write to the archive directory. And we tested that the client can send files to the archive server. Why get latest version of a file? Well, because that verifies the archive server service can read from the archive. And it verifies the client can receive files from the archive server. Lastly, why run a task? Well, we want to verify the database server service is running and connecting to the database. The service can also be tested by sending a message, exporting an XML file, or really any other database server task. That completes the process of verifying PDM is working properly. This has been Jim Ward from Go Engineer describing how to verify that PDM is working properly. Thank you for watching. Thank you.